hey thank you very much for clicking on this video and watching this video remember to become a vip member by subscribing to the channel and also join me every single weekday 4 p.m or 1600 gmt on the business lecturer in within show as i teach you life and ask you uh questions and answer any questions that you are having so click the subscribe button and become a vip member remember to follow me as well on instagram at insurer premium enjoy the video uh, okay, so let's go through all. I wanted to jump to question three straight up, but let's go through all. So it says, Mango PLC leases a car for four years from Apple PLC with an annual lease payment of 110000 payable in arrears. The current cost of borrowing is 4%, annuity factor is 3.66. Explain how Mango Limited will account for the above transaction in the financial statement. So, lease term. What are lease term? Four years. And then, what is the annual installment? The minimum lease payment. Every year we are paying how much? Maybe we are paying one hundred and ten thousand. Okay, and the interest rate implicit on the lease is four percent. Four percent. So what do we do? Initial recognition. We calculate what the present value of the minimum lease payment. So present value of the minimum lease payment is going to be one hundred and ten thousand times. We've been given the annuity factor 3.360. It's 3.6. 3.630. Three point six three zero. Six three zero. That's three nine nine three hundred. Three nine nine three hundred. So it is of this. Now since the question is just like this, that we will debit the right of use and credit what? The lease liability. You get a picture? Mm -hmm. So that's the initial recognition. On subsequent measurement, what did we say? We depreciate the right of use and carry the lease liability or not, amortized cost. Now, in this question, they didn't tell us when it should be accounted for. So let's just assume we are accounting for it at the end of what? The first year. So end of year one. Right of use, so depreciation is going to be 399 300 over how many years? Four years. Four years. So what do we have? 99825. 99825. Okay. So what will be the carry value of our right of use of assets? 399 300 minus. Nine nine eight two five. That is two nine nine four seven five. Good. So that is the right of use. Then for the lease liability, we carry it at what? Amortized cost. When is payment made? Uh, I think in arrears. Arrears. So meaning at the end of the year, right? Yeah. So quickly, you must know that you must do for two periods. And then the table is also going to be different. So year one, balance going forward. We're going to have the interest. We're going to have installment, and we're going to have carry forward. Now the interest rate implicit on the lease is four percent. We bring that your installment is one hundred and ten every year. That will not change. So we slash it in. Then year one. Year two. Year one, we're going to bring the 399, 300. So let's get 4% of that. That's 15972. 15972. 15972. So this plus this minus carrying value. 305. 305.272. 272. So that closing balance becomes opening here. So give me 4% of that. That's uh, 122. Let's see, 122. 
one one. Yes. Okay. Then arithmetically. Two zero seven. Two zero seven. Four eight three. Four eight three. So what did we say? Two zero seven four eight three becomes the non-current liability. Then the difference between the two becomes what? The current liability. Mm -hmm. Are you getting the picture? And we'll do that on the first. The, one. the first one. Mm -hmm. The first one becomes the current liability. No, I'm coming. What's uh, the first one becomes the non-current liability? Okay, let's see. Okay. Ah, are we sure we point well? Hey, really, hey, hey. We point well? Yes. Okay. Hey, I never did go home. Let me see this well. Yeah, because this is bigger than this. Yeah, yeah, but yes, it's like that. So non current liability, the difference is still current liability. So that when you add the two up, it will give you this. Yeah. Are you getting the idea? So this is still the non current liability, and the difference is still the current. Okay. But at the end of the day, say, who are there? SMI and the year one closing balance, no? Okay. Which is what must go into the statement of financial position. So it's still the same thing. Yes. It's still the same thing. Are you okay? Uh, the, I want to, the first. One. Uh -huh. The difference between the first and second will give us the current liability. Yes, and then the second one is the non current. Okay. So, in our income statement extract, what did we say comes in the income statement? Depreciation. Depreciation. So depreciation from working to that is nine nine eight two five. Yeah. Then the interest year one will come lease interest that will be fifteen seven or nine seven two. So this is what comes in the income statement. Now, so let me show you this on the face of the statement of financial position. On the face of the statement of financial position, under non-current assets, we bring the property plant and equipment, and we're going to be bringing the lease asset, which is what? The right of use. So let me, let me write of use, because it's very important we write that there. Mm -hmm. Two. Nine, nine. Nine nine four seven five four seven five. Then let's just do this here. We come to liability. Under liability, we come to the lease liability. No, we come to non-current liability first, and then what? Current liability. Mm -hmm. Now both of them will have lease liability. Lease liability. So this is what we said. The second thing that he did will be what? The non-current. Okay, so the total figure is supposed to go here, which is going to be the 305. 305. Uh, 272. 272. That is the total. Yes. But the second thing you did will go to where? Nine. The non-current, which is 207. 483. 483. So the balancing figure. Yes. Oh, nine seven seven eight nine. Nine seven seven eight nine is what will go to where? The yeah. non current okay. the current company. So add it up will be three oh five two seven two two seven two. That's it. Okay. You get a three twenty. Yeah. So the second one it's always the non current, then the balancing figure becomes what? The current component. Mm -hmm. to banana second one where there is a lease bonus so banana leases out a machine to mango and a four-year lease and mango elects to apply the low value exemption so in this case 
Once you hear that, it means we won't do debit ROU uh, credit based liability. Okay, because the company has elected to do that, so you so they will treat it as a finance lease. Okay. Give you the idea. Then it says the terms of the lease are that the annual lease rentals are two thousand payable in arrears. As an incentive, Banana grants Mango a rent-free period in the first year. Explain how Mango would account for the lease in the financial statement. So, what is happening here? Who is leasing? Banana leases out uh, something to Mango. Mango. So Mango is the lessee. We are counting in the books of Mango. So annual lease payment, lease term is four years, I guess. Yes. Annual lease payment is two thousand payable in arrears. Two thousand payable in arrears. But like I said, since the company has elected to use the low value exemption, we won't even pay when the payment is due. So that is it. Now for four years, but we are told that they were given the first year as well a bonus. Mm. So if they were giving first year as a bonus, then how much did they actually going to be paying? So the total minimum lease payments is going to be 2,000 times three. It means they will pay for only three times, isn't it? And that's going to be 6,000. Are you getting the picture? Now, even though they are paying for only three times, there is a lease bonus. One year. Of one year, which is 2000. Yeah. So the question we ask ourselves is how do we account for this? So even though the first year is free, you the accountants you will say, oh, when they the first year we won't charge anything. That be the total six thousand must be spread over what? the four years. And then the lease bonus must also be spread over what? the four years. Are you getting the idea? So the annual charge is gonna be the six thousand dollars divided by four, and that gives us one thousand five hundred. So this one thousand five hundred is what will go into the income statement for the first year in respect of what our lease. Nemo, there is a lease bonus, so every year that has to also what be dealt with. So annual lease bonus is going to be two thousand over what so four, and that's going to be. So what do we do? At the year ended for the year one, in our income statement, simple. What is going to be coming there is what? Our lease uh, payment. So you, 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 you separate it all, you separate the, the two? Yeah, the two has to be separated for the financial statement purposes. So in our income statement, what will come is the odd thousand five. I get it. That's all that will come. Then in our statement of financial position, this bonus you receive two thousand. What what charge five hundred? Each time thousand five. So that thousand five will go under your liability, under uh, non-current liability. You will split that also into two. It's part to be non-current and part to be what? Current. So the annual payable, like a grant, this is more or less like a grant. So the lease bonus, the annual payable, 500, will be the current. Then the balancing figure, 1,000, will go to where? Current. No, so that the two will be added up to give us 1,005. Okay. Give you the treatment. So that's it. So in our income statement, that's what we account for it. But somebody may ask, okay, so what is a double entry effect? Because we are paying 2000 Yeah, you are paying 2000 so you credit your cash with what? 2000 But remember, in the first year, you are not making any payment. And no dinner, you won't see any entry in relation to what? That. Your end payment will start in the second year. And when you make payments, you just credit your cash, and then you will debit your income statement with 1005 and you will subtract it from where? The lease, the bonus. That you recognize, 500, and that will complete the double entry. So every year you'll be deducting the 500 from the 2000, like that, debiting it, debiting it, debiting it, till the four years. The four years over. 
You get it? Yeah. So that is how we deal with least bonus on leases. Can we go? Yeah. All right. So let's look at the last the question to the lease accounting. That is where I wanted to come originally. Uh, now, the first question we saw, payment was made at the end. But in this question, payment is made at the start. So you're going to see the differences. And there are other things as well here. The way the question is given, you should be able uh, to make out the end or the beginning. Yes, when the lease payment is made. Because that, that, will, that will not affect your depreciation calculation. But no, that may affect your depreciation calculation. And let, no, that may not affect your depreciation calculation, but your lease liability. Yes. So that you know whether you do the it's first schedule or the second schedule. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, okay, we really want to do <laughs> <laughs> so if you miss that bet, as a way to